Hi, I'm Laura Rogers here with Ann Michaels to talk about some of the new things that have been announced about Office 365 admin particularly. So Ann, I heard a lot about some new reporting capabilities and uh, in Office 365 and I'm super excited about that. So what can you tell me about those? Yes, we are super excited about the new reporting capabilities as well. We actually announced four different things here at Ignite in the area of usage reporting. So the first announcement that we had, and I know a lot of you out there are waiting for that, is that we are adding two new reports to the admin center that will enable you to understand how your organization is using Microsoft Teams. So those reports will be available to all customers about in about two weeks, like mid-October. The second announcement was that what we've heard from a lot of customers is that it's not always only the IT department that is responsible for driving usage and adoption, but it's often also non-admins, like a business strategist or an adoption strategist. And of course, for those people to successfully do their job, they need to have access to the usage analytics as well. So we introduced a new reports reader role that you can assign to anybody in your organization directly in the admin center. And when you do that, that person then has access to the usage reporting dashboard and also to the adoption content pack and Power BI and that is actually available for all of you today so the third announcement that we had is I know we have probably a lot of people out there that are using already the Office 365 adoption content pack and Power BI preview yes we could not have thought of a longer name but we announced that the content pack will reach GA at the beginning of next year and that it will be renamed to Office 365 Usage Analytics. And at GA, we will release a new version that will include more information and more data, especially around teamwork. So we're bringing in all the information from Microsoft Teams, all the usage data from Office 365 groups, and also all the usage data from Yammer groups. Wow, that is a lot. That is very nice. detailed. I can't wait to see that. That's pretty exciting. What about this, I hear this concept of multi-geo. I keep hearing people talk about that. Can you tell me what that really means? Yeah, so we have many customers that have legal and corporate requirements that because of those that they need to store data of their users locally. In the past, that has sometimes been a challenge, especially when it comes to actually adopting cloud services like Office 365, and our customers often had to stand up on-prem data servers to really be able to uh, store the data of their users around the world in a compliant way. So we introduced this week multi-geo capabilities in Office 365. With this new feature, you can have one Office 365 tenant span across multiple data center regions in Office 365. And you can choose for every single one of your users where their Office 365 data address is stored. Oh, and that's, that's huge. Yes. And what is even better is that it works both for new users and you can also move existing users. All right, I did, that's a great way of explaining it. I really didn't understand what that, that was all about. That's huge. People are going to love that, especially with compliance and going across multiple countries with different go uh, governments, different rules. Um, also, I hear that you guys have revamped the whole Office 365 admin center just conceptually and added a bunch more, uh, some wizards and some helpful guides to help admins get around in there and know where things are. Um, what's a good example of one of the new things in there? Yeah. So we've been doing a lot of things, especially to help enterprise customers, right? And we know that a lot of enterprise customers, they don't just spend time in the main admin center, but they also spend time in the product-specific admin centers. So we are working on a new SharePoint admin center that we actually released into preview this week here at Ignite that will make it more effectively for you to manage SharePoint. And we're also working on a new Microsoft Teams and Skype admin center that will become available later this year. And this new admin center will really give you one-stop location to manage all aspects of both Microsoft Teams and Skype. Well, so what is the, what's this offboarding concept that uh, you mentioned earlier? So the offboarding guide is a brand new streamlined experience that we are currently working on that will become available in the main admin center. And what the offboarding guide does is that it really helps you to take the right steps as an admin when an employee leaves the company. Because often when an employee leaves the company, well then, 
the obvious action is to simply delete the user and take away the license, right? But often to really make sure that your organization handles kind of the offboarding in a compliant, secure way and also to make sure that people can build on top of the work of that person, you want to do other things. Like for example, you might want to share the files of that person with somebody else. Or you might want to make sure to actually be able to transfer ownership of their mailbox to somebody else. So we are introducing a new guide to the main admin center that will walk you through all these steps and will enable you to complete them with just one simple click. I am so excited, especially about the SharePoint Admin Center, about all the trouble that you guys have gone to to make sure that the whole thing is understandable. So huge. Anyway, it was really good talking to you, and thanks for being here. Thanks a lot for having me on the show.